One of the main ways to bring up your score on the SAT without doing any studying at all is to eliminate careless errors. How can you minimize your careless mistakes on the SAT? You just have to follow three principles. Principle number one is you have to check each question as soon as you've chosen an answer to it. You can't wait until much later. You can't go back after five or ten questions and check them for careless mistakes because you're not going to be able to remember how you solve the first few questions by the time you get to the later questions. So we check as soon as we choose an answer to each question. We don't wait. Secondly, we check as if we're sure that there is a careless mistake. It's often the case on the SAT that you might do all the work correctly and actually find out the value of x, but the question is actually looking for x squared minus 1 or something like that. We have to check as if we're sure we did make a careless mistake. We have to look back over the question and look for obvious things. Did I punch things into the calculator incorrectly? Did I multiply instead of dividing? Did I read the question correctly? But we have to check as if we're assuming that there is indeed a careless mistake. And principle number three is you have to check off each question as soon as you've checked it over. Put a check mark in the test book next to the number of the question so that you don't wind up checking questions more than once. What do we need to do to minimize our careless mistakes? Number one, we need to check each question as soon as we've chosen an answer to it. Number two, we need to check each question as if we're sure that there is indeed a careless mistake on it. And number three, we need to check off each question. In other words, put a check mark in the test book next to the number of the question as soon as you've checked it over so that you don't waste time checking the question over more than once.